Share the recordings and uh, one more thing you can download all these things as of now i think i shared 15 videos and today i'll add some more videos okay fine uh, <coughs> so in last class we discussed about cost elements right in controlling area And we discussed uh, what type of cost elements we are having in controlling, like primary cost we are having. Now these are the categories, cost revenue, sales, production of the categories which comes under primary cost element. And we are having another type of cost element that is secondary cost element. It is going to be created in controlling area for reporting purpose or assessment purpose. So these are the categories, overhead assessments, internal activity allocation, internal settlement, result analysis. Right, how to create or how to maintain the primary cost element or secondary cost element? We can have two options, or <coughs> we are having two options like manual creation of primary cost element. Either we can use T code FS00 or KS01. Hmm? And uh, second, uh, manual creation of secondary cost element, T code is KS06. And we are having one more option called automatic creation of primary and cost uh, secondary cost element primary and secondary cost element here. Primary and secondary cost element. If you are having one or two cost element, then you can use manual way. And if you are having more than 10, 15 like that, then go with after automatic or else automatic creation of primary and secondary cost element will be maintained by consultant and primary uh, sorry manual way will be maintained by end users okay uh, in in real time these configurations will be maintained by uh, automatic configurations will be maintained by consultant and manual will be maintained by primary uh, sorry end users we will see both okay, log into system First, I'll go with FS00. FS00 is our GL creation screen, right? And I'll go to administration expenses. And I'll select rent account. Then click on change. This is a first manual creation of primary cost element. I'll using FS00, okay? What are the GLs we created in general ledger that is treated as a primary cost the two PNL account balance sheet is not considered as elements so what are the PNL account means profit and loss account or expenses income that will be treated as primary cost element okay the select rent account click on copy sorry click on change not copy change then come to create bank or interest here if you want to change the field status then you can change to G004, G004 is cost element, sorry cost account, hmm? save this, okay, it is not mandatory to change the field status, okay, then after saving click on edit cost element, after saving click on edit cost element, you will get screen like this, there the cost element let it be same 400600 and valid from 0104-2021 till end, 31st 12 9999 Press enter. See the name descriptions picked from the ledger. And here I need to mention is cost element category. That is very important. So without this, this account or this ledger will not come to or will not transfer to controlling department. So, that is very important step. cost element category in it as I here. So, press F4 here and these are the categories I discussed or as I told you, these are the categories we are having in primary cost element, right. 
so this is a rent is a expenses for us so i select primary cost or cost reduced revenue <coughs> enter save this is one way to create the cost element manual cost element my manual primary cost element okay then i'll come to another option like uh, k01 right manual creation of primary cost element in k01 for that i need to go to easy access logistic sorry materials uh, account, accounting controlling cost element accounting then master data cost element individual processing k01 create primary either you can use fs00 or directly you can come to k01 and you can create a primary cost element there we are not going to enter into gl screen directly it will come to k01 there i need to give manually all every gl account number and cost element category i need to give manually i'll show that one okay double click on k01 see we are in this screen okay uh, cost element 400600 already created right so i'll change to 400200 then valid from 0104 to 2021 till 31st 12 9999 enter see here 400200 is our salary account right then cost element category again this is also expenses so i'll select primary cost or cost reducing revenue Okay, save this. Either you can use FS00 or KS01. This is primary creation, primary cost element creation, manu manually. Sorry. Then, <coughs> manual creation of secondary cost element. Manual creation of secondary cost element. T code KS06. Path same. Double click on k06 and here from 1 to from 1 lakh to 5 lakh we were using primary cost element okay then <coughs> from 6 lakhs to 999 i'll use secondary hmm? it's not a standard but usually we do like this this is primary and for secondary cost element I'm going to give this number in there. Okay. The K is zero six and I'll give six double zero triple zero. Press enter and here I'll give material overheads. Material overheads. And cost element category press F4 overhead rates 41. Okay, save this. We can create secondary cost element like this. We can create secondary cost element like this. Okay, next to it's a manual way. Okay, we'll go to IMG level, we'll go to IMG level <coughs> and we'll try to create automatically okay so i'll go to img controlling cost element accounting master data then cost element automatic creation of primary and secondary cost element and here First one make default setting t code ok b2 uh, my chart of account is psca right enter you click on new entry here so here as i told you our primary cost element will be income and expenses right so income my income gl will start from 3 lakh to 3 lakh 4 or uh, 399 yes this is what we called as revenue revenue 
sales revenue uh, sales account group and other income group that is treated as revenue <coughs> and uh, 3 lakh 400 to 3 lakh 599 that is treated as sales deduction so these are the income groups okay then i'll come to 4 lakh to 4 lakh double one double nine that is expenses expenses four group included in this range like uh, administration expenses manufacturing expenses then material consumption expenses interest account depreciation account all these five groups which comes under this range okay then and i'll give six lakh to this is secondary cost element seven lakh 42 that is assessment eight lakh for internal activity activity allocation and nine lakh uh, this is internal settlement i'll give internal settlement so I, what i'm telling to my system is from this range to this range it is revenue from this range to this range it is sales reduction and this is my primary cost then this one is a secondary cost so we can give in this range so system will consider what are the ledges which comes under this range it is treated as a revenue so this number ranges is on the basis of account group what we created account group you hope you remember if you recall your previous class we created chart of account under that we created account group right so uh, on the basis of that number ranges we are giving it okay save this okay now this i need to this configuration i need to execute or create the batch input session so create the batch input session t code is okb3 and my computer controlling area is psd and valid from 0104 and 31st 12 double nine double nine and this is my user and session name you can change the session name cost element Sir, ah. uh, in GL you have uh, you have changed the primary cost. No, uh -huh. can you re show that tab? <coughs> primary manual way or what? Uh, yes, uh, manually, manually. Yes, sir. We 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 created automatic, sir. Uh, now I am creating automatic. Okay, okay. This is automatic manually way. Manually, can you show in GL? Sir? So go to FS double zero. Go to FS double zero. Okay, then okay. Then go to administration expenses or any expenses uh, uh, group. Select rent account. Click on change here and come to create bank or interest. Okay, there change the field status group as G zero zero four and save it. Then click on edit cost element and this is a, a element picked from the system because while creating GL we had given this number. Do not change any number here or this number let it be same. Valid from this is a date, the center and name and description will pick automatically. Here I need to mention the element category, cost element category. So it is expenses, right? So I need to select this is my primary cost. This is my primary or cost reducing revenue. So I need to select this one. Save. That. So this is a way we are going to create the primary cost limit manually. Or else you can go to or else you can go with another option K01. So I'll show that one also. I'll come to K01 in easy access accounting, controlling cost element accounting, master data, cost element, individual processing, K01, create primary. <coughs> Here you can give directly your cost element or, or GL account number. Valid from enter. Okay, this is my name and description and cost element category. Again, this is expenses. I am going to select cost element category as 1, cost element category as 
1 and say this. Okay, this is manual way and if you want to create automatic way just come to IMG level controlling cost element accounting cost data cost elements automatic creation of primary and secondary cost element and create batch inputs t code is ok b3 oh, sorry first you need to go with make default setting t code is ok b2 and this is my chart of account and this is a category so, telling my system that the ledger which is come under this range that is treated as a revenue and this is the sales reduction and uh, ledgers which comes under this range it is treated as a cost primary cost and these are all secondary cost element as of now we not maintain secondary or, or not created any secondary cost element right so <coughs> i am telling that this is my secondary whenever i use to create the cost element secondary cost element then i need to give this range if i am going to create uh, cost secondary cost element under overhead rates then i need to give this range and 7 7 lakh is so 7 series is assessment and 8 series is internal allocation and 9 series is internal allocation or internal settlement hmm? so this uh, as per our class this is a revenue and these two are revenue like income and this is expenses for which 4 series which is expenses 6 series is a overhead rates 7 series assessment and 8 series internal allocation and 9 series internal settlement Okay. okay now this session i need to <coughs> batch input session i need to maintain so click on batch input session t code is ok b3 controlling area psd valid form. and here i can change the session name or let it be same and give cost under element underscore element and uh, username this is my username okay, then click on execute or press f8 so these are the ledgers or primary cost element see up to this 400 yes. up to this level it is treated as a primary cost element and 6 7 8 9 it is secondary cost element as of now we not created any cost uh, secondary cost element right only one cost element secondary cost element we created okay whenever i used to create the secondary cost element i need to give this range okay come back then click on execute batch input session i need to execute this right so t code is sm35 click on that okay this is my session name right cost underscore element i had given select cost underscore element and click on process and here select display errors only click on process okay it is telling that some cost elements is already exist because we had created manually right that's the reason it's showing like that so what we need to do here is just press escape button and click on yes again we are getting same error because this elements we had created manually right so again press escape click on yes element then automatic creation of primary and secondary cost element there we maintain the settings right like i am telling my system that which are all ledgers which comes under this range that will be considered as revenue okay this is what sales reduction and 
these are the primary cost element and this is what secondary cost element i maintain the number ranges right then after that i created the batch input session like this is my ok bd click on that controlling area psd and all these things i maintain and click on execute so these are the ledgers or primary cost element and as well as secondary cost element we can see here as i told you we are not yet created any secondary cost element if i'm going to create the secondary cost element under category i need to give that range hmm? okay now this session i need to execute hmm? sm35 click on execute and one session we already executed and if you want to execute again just select this this is my session name and click on process okay it is already process so i'm not going to show it again this one is another one okay so i'll select this one okay not at process click on process display errors only then click on process okay again we are getting error like this because we created primary error right we created some elements primary uh, sorry manually that's the reason we are getting error okay, it is already showing error because the process has been completed right that's the reason we are getting error okay now it has been completed now it has been completed the process <coughs> now if you want to see the cost element which are transferred to controlling department you need to go to uh, t code ka23 ka23 where we can see the cost element which is transferred to controlling area so just k go to ka23 input your controlling area psd and select all cost element here execute okay these are the cost element which is transferred to controlling department from f5 okay now we are ready with our cost element and one more thing i need to create here is cost element group for that i'll come to easy access account in accounting controlling cost element accounting master data and here cost element group <coughs> cost element group t code kah1 and here i'll give cost element group as total cost without space or i can use underscore also without space i need to give total cost or total expenses press enter and here i'll go to create two groups like i'll give description of total cost as company code psd and i'm going to create two groups here so select total cost and click on lower level and here i'll give material cost material cost and one more group i'll going to create total cost select lower group admin expenses admin underscore expenses or admin ad cost administration cost okay so material cost which are all ledgers i'm which comes under this cost i'll select this one and click on cost element so i'll give you the range like 4 lakh to 4 lakh 199 let's just which comes under 
this range is treated as a material cost. Press enter. These are all ledgers we created, right? You can see here. Like that, select admin admin cost. Click on cost element and two lakh two hundred to four zero one one double nine. The ledgers which comes under in this range, it considered as a this group. I mean administration group. These are the ledgers we created under this range, right? <coughs> Save this. So now I am ready with my cost element, right? Now next topic is next topic is cost center accounting. Cost center accounting. Actually, what is cost center? Cost center is nothing but our departments in a company. departments in a company like uh, we are having HR department sales department right like that we are having production department then legal department right these are the departments which we are having in our company okay. so all department they are having their own employees their own setups right and why it is called as cost and center means in here we are going to plan our regular expenses. Cost means expenses, right? So plan, planning of our expenses. Planning of our regular expenses. What do you mean by like regular expenses? Regular expenses means what are the what are the expenses we are going to pay or incur in monthly basis, right? Like we are having rent, rent I need to pay on monthly basis, right? Whether I am using that building or not, we need to pay the rent, right? Like that I need to pay salary right? for my employees. So how much, how many days they are attending on the basis of that attendance, we are going to calculate the salary, right? And telephone expenses, telephone expenses like that internet expenses right these are all regular expenses if you are using or not using you need to pay the expenses that is what we call as regular expenses so we are we can or we are going to plan this kind of expenses through cost center okay so what are the requirement to maintain the cost element or cost element planning sorry cost center planning as we are having cost elements right we copied the or we transferred the cost element from finance to controlling department by using that cost element we can plan right rent we had created salary we created maybe telephone expenses and internet expenses we had created right uh, and on the basis of that elements we can plan so what are the configurations or what are the process i need to maintain Say first I need to maintain the cost element, sorry, cost center hierarchy, cost center hierarchy. What is hierarchy? Nothing but group. Cost element hierarchy is nothing but cost element, cost center group, sorry, cost not cost element, cost center. So here I will create four groups like admin group. So under that, under admin, uh, I'm going to create cost center as facility management or FMS, FMS, then HR or human resources management. then recruitment or REC I'll give 
cost element name is sorry cost center name is REC. Then corporate, I'll create group as corporate. Under that, I'm going to create corporate communication. Okay, this is what we call as group. I'll mention here CCT center group. And here it is cost center. So what happened to you? Why are you asking again and again? Okay, cost center nothing but it's a department in a company like we are having HR department sales department production like that in cost center we are going to plan our regular expenses like rent salaries telephone expenses internet expenses these are all regular based I need to pay right so these expenses we can plan like here we are going to plan a salary every month I need to pay where execution time You mean to say cost element execution tab? That we completed and after that we created group, right? Cost element group. SM35. So this is my session and click on process. It is already processed, right? So uh, if I'm click on process, it will show some error. Like requested cannot be processed because it is already processed. And this is our you know, um, process. This process only. Let's click on process. See, we are getting error like this because already we had created. Enter SPF, yes. Yes. Okay, after that, I'll click on exit batch inputs <coughs> and all the ledgers which is there in financial accounting that transfer to controlling department we can use that ledger in finance also but finance and controlling we can use that one now what are the ledgers we transferred as now we can use in both in fi and co okay to see that one go to k23 Select all cost element here and click on execute here. Okay, these are the elements which carried out from finance to controlling module. And after that, uh, we had created the group uh, that is KAH1 or KAHTL group. This is my element group, press center, and these are the two groups which created like one is administration group there I had mentioned this is my ledger and this is the range from 4 lakh 200 to 4 lakh 1000 and where we created another group material cost and this is a range of material cost <coughs> okay now we are into cost cost center accounting as we discussed cost center accounting is for planning of our regular expenses regular expenses like rent salary telephone expenses internet expenses like that and here i'm going to create uh, four groups here i'm going to create four groups like administration expenses sorry admin admin group corporate group then third fourth one third one is production group and under that i'll create production 
cost center then last one services group services there i'll create canteen is one then legal and training these are the three cost elements which i am going to create in services group like totally two groups and 1 2 3 4 5 and seven cost centers okay so as i told you we are going to <coughs> plan our salary expenses we're going to plan our salary expenses salary will be calculate on the basis of employees right salary will be paid on the basis of employees no, or number of employees right number of employees there in cost center right person wise or each like salary will be paid on basis of employee wise right so here assume that in fms or facility management cost center we are having uh six employees assume that we are having six six employees in uh facility management services four employees in hr department recruitment we are having three employees so just roughly i am giving corporate communication we are having two employees production we are having more employees like 30 employees then canteen again we are having two employees legal uh five employees we we'll take five plus training around seven employees so so roughly i'm giving okay so here for this employees the or this much of employees so my overall planning budget is or planning salary is say example 10 lakh i'm ready to pay 10 lakh for this much of employees okay so this much of amount i can afford to pay the salary right this is my planning salary okay this is my planning salary this 10 lakh need to distribute with this cost center right need to distribute with this cost center on the basis of employee as i told you salary will paid on the basis of number of employees right if six employees is there out of 10 lakh how much i need to pay four employees how much i need to pay so i need to mention this my budget salary or plan salary and number of employees i need to mention system will take care of the calculation for this department how much employees there on the basis of this it will be distributed so that is a use of this calculation or planning because i am system will doesn't show that what is the calculation or what is the formula for calculating right so i am mentioning this this is my pa planning amount and this is number of employees i need to give these two entries system will take care of calculations it doesn't show the it doesn't show uh, show the calculation or formula okay for that i need to maintain as i told you this is my first configuration like i need to create the cost element group 
under that i need to create individual cost center individual cost center i need to create then <coughs> third one i need to create number of employees number of employees means or we need to tell my system that how we are going to calculate the salary so that is what we called as unit of measure i think you are aware of unit of measure because while creating material right integration part while creating material we discussed about material right uh, sorry unit of measure in the same way i need to maintain the unit of measure means how i am going to calculate the salary on what basis we are going to calculate right person wise each wise we are going to calculate like that here also i need to maintain the unit of measure we are having two option or one option uh, two options is there to create one is statistical key figure okay and second one is activity type usually we are not going to use activity type that will be related to production department so so many activities will be maintained in production department they are going to take care of activity types uh, while maintaining the activities in production they will create activity types so here we are not going to use activity type so with the help of statistical key figure we are going to create our employee wise uh, on the basis of employee or on the basis of person we are going to calculate okay that is the unit of measure right then fourth one then fourth one uh fourth one <coughs> is define distribution cycle so what is distribution cycle distribution cycle means so i'm going to include all my cost element all my cost center and unit of measure right so here in distribution cycle i'm going to include or insert all cost elements or cost cost center i'll take oh yeah all not all cost element uh, all cost center i'll take all cost center and cost element and statistical key figure statistical key figures so this i'm going to include in distribution system or distribution cycle so where i'm telling my system that for this cost center and this is my cost element and statistical figure you need to calculate then fifth one i need to input my input my plan <coughs> salary then input number of employees in cost centers okay so everything is completed now i need to run the distribution cycle cycle then after that once you run that we'll get a plan cost right <coughs> sorry i'll get plan cost and after that i need to post the actual expenses actual expenses in t code fb50 code fp50 okay so we'll see in the system so what is the purpose of planning purpose of planning is To 
avoid to avoid unexpected expenses to avoid unexpected expenses this is my plan so you need to go with this kind of or this much of expenses say example if you are having our 100 rupees 100 rupees with me i can spend that much only right i can i cannot spend more than 100 rupees so this is my plan amount right so without beyond that i need to take loan from others other person or other um, individual okay so i can spend my amount only that much right so i cannot go beyond that i cannot go beyond that so that is the reason it is in company each and every expenses will be <laughs> planned okay so i'll go into system welcome to img level come to img level <coughs> controlling cost center accounting master data flow cost center and here define standard hierarchy t code o k e o n o k e o n click on that so we'll get, get screen like this t code is o k e o n so we'll get screen like this there this is my standard hierarchy how it is picked up so at the time of creation of controlling area hope you remember if you recall your previous class while creating controlling area one minute while creating controlling area we mentioned our standard hierarchy is our company code only go to controlling area double click on maintain controlling area Click on position. My controlling area is PSD. Enter. Double click on PSD. See here. This is my cost center standard hierarchy. <coughs> so my company code is my standard hierarchy. So that's the reason it has been picked up. Right. Hmm? Now under that. this is my highest reporting node right this is highest reporting node under that i need to create the group and under that group we can create cost center okay for that here we are having the option first you need to select this one and click on create button and select lower level group select lower level group and here group name view admin and description administration press enter okay under psd we had created one group called admin like that select admin click on create again and select group it same level and give the group name as corporate as corporate and corporate <coughs> sorry and select corporate and click on create select group at same level and give the group name as production description production and select production group at same level <coughs> and here i'll give services okay save this now i had created three four groups right like administration corporate production and services you can create many group like this or else you can go with standard this is a, this is enough 
okay so like this we can create many groups according to our company's requirement we can create okay uh, if you want to create cost center directly you can create here it's here itself if you click on right click or right click on the particular group and here we are having create cost center hmm? to create the cost center here it can come and you can create here but i'm not using this option so i'll come back to this level and there is an option called create cost center t code is ks01 ks01 click on that and I'll click on create cost center and here i can give character or numbers say example i'll give cost center as psd dash or dash hrm press enter so here i'll change to 11 one or 14 2021 until end press enter and if you get like screen like this there i need to mention human resources human resources now one one person is responsible for cost center or is head of the cost center means a department right is a department head or hod hod head of the department and i can mention the user responsible means user means i can mention uh, some user id here and he is the uh, he is the responsible for that cost center okay and uh, if i am going to mention any user id here they are going to access that cost center otherwise other people is not able to access so i am not going to mention user responsible and here i'll give person responsible any name any name you can give like hari and department is not required cost at center category <coughs> cost center category and uh, hr is coming for administration so i'm going to select this is the standard cost center category which we can use and hierarchy just we created right so press f4 we are having four hierarchy or group so admin i'll select again business area not i think uh, i'll check with that business area we created we'll see that one <coughs> no we not created business area I'll leave blank that and currency currency is important inr enter once you hit enter it is it is saying that profit center account is active but no profit center specified all right at the time of controlling area creation we selected this profit center as active or we activated our profit center so it is selling like that as of now we not created any individual profit center we activated the profit center in controlling area but individual profit center not created so we will create in next session but it is telling it's a warning system is saying you are not created it although it is active just ignore that warning the center to ignore and click on save okay like that you can double click on create cost center psd underscore uh, dash fms enter facility management services and person responsible again it is comes under cost center category or administration group here also admin hierarchy is also admin currency is ina enter again you will get with warning message like profit center is not created the center and save come back and double click on create cost center again and cost center i'll give rec psd dash rec enter rec stands for recruitment recruitment okay raj again it comes under administration enter enter and see next one again double click on create cost center 
and I'll give C O R enter corporate corporate communication. communication and it is cost center category is I'll take services okay because we are not having corporate group I'll select here and hierarchy I'll take corporate I'll take corporate then currency again <coughs> enter and save next one double click on cost center again i'll take prd that is production cost center or um, we can take soft drink production soft drink production responsible person cost center category one and here also we are having hierarchy production then currency IMA. enter see come back again click on create cost center and here CNT CNT stands for canteen Services here also we are having service currency INR. Enter and save. Next uh, legal PST dash LEG legal and legal services here also services currency aina enter save and last one i'll take trm training services again services currency enter save Okay, so these are the cost center and cost element. Sorry, cost center hierarchy we had created. Okay, so remaining things we'll create tomorrow. Uh, I'll update the times tomorrow. So if people are available, right? Maybe eleven thirty. I'll take. I'll update. Don't worry. Yes. Okay. Janani is available and Monica, you're available. Maybe eleven thirty or twelve thirty. Either one of these times I'll take. Okay. Okay. Fine. Okay, we will continue. Yeah, sure, I will share the recording. Uh, you download our old videos. Okay, okay then, bye.